hearing in all of the questions and seeing for myself this um, emergent question that's always there of just of how to be of benefit in the world, like, you know, using any means we have available. <laughs> and um, just really how to give the very best of ourselves in any situation, to use, you know, our finances, our energy, our gifts and talents, our yeah, availability to those we love and um, this this fundamental wish and concern you could say that's I see for myself has just always been always been there and um, but with meeting the balance you training it kind of got shined up <laughs> got really shined up so it became like very obvious as a uh, a primary a primary care a primary wish in my life and um, it became very apparent to me and this is you know this is amazing this is amazing it's amazing to have these questions and um, to consider our life and the world in this way and have a place where we really can do that and we can come together with others and collectively as a global human community consider our world in this way with great care great attentiveness to benefit and um, wanting the very best for ourselves and others wanting to share the very best of ourselves for others to benefit as well and um, yeah this is just so beautiful so beautiful really what the world needs <laughs> what our world needs you know it's so instinctive to us as human beings to show up in this way it's it's our most fundamental identity, fundamental way of being, so to find a way to just tap into that and bring it fully alive in life, in, in all areas, in all moments, this is a, a great gift, a great gift for ourselves, a great gift for the whole world. And I just see for myself the, um, sometimes there's an a analogy used of putting on a new pair of glasses when you meet the balance you training in it. And it just felt like this new pair of glasses, you know, over time, over the years, started to sh sharpen up the view to a view of, of benefit and wishing to be of benefit. And um, shifting the focus from main, my self-focus and how I need to keep myself happy and content and maintain all my um, thoughts and emotions to look a certain way to more and more the thoughts and emotions being allowed to be as they are and the, to the focus shifting to the benefit of all which includes myself naturally and so those questions about how to use resources this is just I mean I just this is such you know these are questions that demand to be you placed on the world stage, you know, <laughs> like how we use our resources and really to deeply consider and deeply rest together and each look at our lives and look at the world and see how do we wish to really be of benefit to all with everything that we have. And um, because I see for myself in my life before this self-focus and self-concern kept things very small, uh, kept me wishing to maintain certain uh, experiences for myself and um, and certainly money is such an incredible I mean wow it's 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 a phenomenon it's it's phenomenal <laughs> like its reach and range its effect and impact this data stream on the whole world I mean the whole world <laughs> everybody in the grip to one extent or another through the idea of through the data stream of money and then all of the associated ideas around it whatever it might be and um, in my experience of times of having more or less money it, it equal tension <laughs> you know equal discomfort is potential that is potentially available to me in those in those data streams you know the the idea of of having more money can feel so alluring you know like okay once I just have the right amount of money in my bank account and everything's going to be okay do you know that one like, then all, all will be well and um, 
and then money coming into the bank account and there's <laughs> still being worries and concerns and you know um, confusion and it, the, the, the change in the data stream of money not, not solving any problem you know but this feeling like it really it definitely felt like it had an immense grip on my well-being my fundamental well-being you know avoiding the bank account not wanting to look not wanting to be clear and avoiding you know really seeing ways that I could use my money wisely and beneficially and um, and then after completing the 12 empowerments and you know, even in the 12 empowerments taking such a clear look at the data stream of money I mean it felt really radical in the beginning to even look at data stream at money as a data stream it was so reified <laughs> it was like but it's really a thing. It's, it's really a thing. And it really has control and it really determines and dictates what happens in this world. And then we take a look, we, 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 we rely on open intelligence simultaneous to the data streams of money, repeated again and again, resting deeply in the perception and appearance of money, whatever it might be, our concerns, our wishes, our fears, our hopes, resting deeply, relying on open intelligence, getting to know them as the shining forth of open intelligence, the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And this is, this is the mastery within money data, this is mastery within all data streams. This is the freedom that we look for in money. And um, in having money, or maybe not having money, you know, there's also that extreme of like, if I have no money, then I'll be free. <laughs> then I'll just be able to do all those things that I really want. I won't have those concerns about money. And um, the data are always present. <laughs> Never going to get rid of the data streams. So we want to get to know them at the root, at the essence. Truly their, their true identity, our true identity. You know, indivisible open intelligence for the benefit of all and really um, you know orienting seeing this shift and orienting my life more and more opening this opening and expansion to consider all of my life from this vantage of benefit to all and um, it's beautiful the question about testing out generosity how amazing what an amazing practice <laughs> you know like um, and I know for myself as well, it has been like, just, just, you mean, it's also with, you know, with friends and all of these, there's so many, um, you know, can, it depends also on, I, of course, for us and our data streams and how it's been, and maybe we've been more kind of um, strict on, on our friends paying us back, or maybe we've been more loose in that way, but there's no, like, one way. We respond for the benefit of all, so in relationship, you know, with friends, and if, if money's being lent, and then it's a benefit that it's returned, then we can come up in a, with a, a clear approach to that, you know, everything's included, and then other times it's just like, yeah, that's, it's a, it's a benefit that's, and I, I love you, and I want you to have that, <laughs> and, um, and, but it's really beautiful to like just test out this capacity for generosity in all ways, you know, and this is what this center is, this is what the uh, balance for you is, this is what the four mainstays are as a global movement, it's a complete movement of generosity. Like from the grassroots, human beings around the world stepping up into our, our innate beneficial and generous nature, and that looking in so many ways, you know, whatever might be, I see for myself, whatever might be available for myself, for me, to offer and give to the furtherance of open intelligence for the benefit of all. That's, that's, that's life, <laughs> which includes everyone. This includes everyone. So showing up in our workplace, working with young people who haven't been introduced to the nature of my, our mind, their mind, and showing up in complete loving openness. I just imagine you both working with these young people and it touches my heart. Mm -hmm. How amazing, what a gift. What a gift you are and you bring, you know? And um, the same for all of us in our lives, like 
never to be underestimated, the power of relying on open intelligence, the knowing of the true nature of all beings, the showing up in open-hearted relationship with clarity, and you know, seeing skillful ways to empower people, empower ourselves, firstly with the Four Mainstays, and then the, the landscape of life changes rather than seeing ourselves and each other as our data streams, more and more seeing this potency of open intelligence and the opportunity for benefit. So, yeah, even, and in terms of people being introduced to open intelligence, that's, that's why I'm dedicating my life to this, because it's to make this available for everyone at whatever time that will be, you know, in the perfect pace, in the perfect way, so that everybody can have this education if they wish for it. You know, if it's if it's something that they also have a um, a wish and interest for in their life to know open intelligence, and even so, they will benefit. <laughs> even if not interested, still, everyone will benefit from from a, a community, a, an emerging society of people prioritizing generosity, benefit, love, and openness. And, you know, and this is just, um, yeah, I mean all gratitude to Candice for bringing this about, for making this available, for, you know, ushering this opportunity to the world in a way which can be accessed by me, by us at this time and understood, you know, this profound teachings and recognition about the nature of our mind, our true nature, in an accessible way, and a way that empowers true social change in our lives and around the world, you know, wherever we're living and bursting forth with our gifts and talents. You know, and I, I mean, totally for myself, the realm of gifts and talents is just so rich with potency. <laughs> and if I would look, you know, every time I step up as such, I see an opportunity to share my gifts and talents, there's nearly always a downpour of negativity, like about what I'm capable of, you know, self-doubt, um, a pride and arrogance, which can kind of go both ways. I, it's a hotbed. <laughs> and this is the di beneficial dynamic energy of open intelligence. So to get to know it like that, then there's, there's no limit, there's no stopping us. And then we see for what is of benefit to all, where we choose to place ourselves, what opportunities we take up, how will this further the benefit of all? You know, so if there's a certain organization or institution that we want to participate in or contribute to, we can. But if we see that's not of benefit at all, that's fine too. Maybe there's other, there'll be other things that align more with our gifts and talents or our, you know, purpose in the world.